if your Raspberry Pi is dead, it might not be game over. Um, in this video, we're going to um, share a story that's happened to us and hopefully show you how you can fix your dead Raspberry Pi. This, I'm not sure if you can see, but was the Pi in question. It's a Raspberry Pi 02W. This is just the tip of our iceberg of our Raspberry Pis. We've got loads. And this one is the only one that actually is kind of dead. Yeah. yeah. All the other ones have stopped, um, not all of them, the other ones have stopped working at times, but we've managed to fix them and get yeah. them working again. This is my first ever Pi, but um, the light comes on if I plug this in, but we've tried everything and it's really dead. This is the one that we thought was dead, but it isn't, and it's running our 3D printer. This Raspberry Pi over here in the 3D printed case, that is our web server, googleapps.com. And we had a scare with this one, we thought it was broken, but um, it was just actually the SD card was corrupted. We fixed the SD card and it came back to life. So let us tell you the story. We had Octopi running on this Raspberry Pi. Um, if you don't know what Octopi is, it's a really great way of running and um, controlling, managing, your... yeah, managing a 3D printer. Um, but when we're building the um, our new 3D printer, um, instantly there's a video on us um, on how built... we built built the 3D printer. Yeah, it was really boy, hard. Yeah, it was hard. It had the option of just using a Raspberry Pi Zero instead, and just and it looks and it's a lot neater um, um, without having to plug the Raspberry Pi Zero into the printer using this cord. There was a shortage of a Raspberry Pi Zero 2s when we went to order one for the 3D printer and so we waited for ages for one to be available to buy and when we did get around to buying one you were only allowed one per household so we ordered it and it came and we were ready to thrilled. put it into yeah. the 3D printer. printer. So times were great. Um, we got Octoprint on it and set it Octopi. up. Octopi. Yep, sorry, Octopi on it. And we set it up with all the wires to check it was working and everything was working. So it was set up the same as this one with all like the finicky wires and stuff. This um, is another Raspberry Pi Zero and when we soldered the header pins on, it went on fine. It worked perfectly, it was an easy solder, sol solder, solder job. job. Um, but when it came around to putting the header pins on the Raspberry Pi Zero 2, um, these ones, this needed extra long solder pins, so, so, sorry, header pins, and it was su such a struggle to solder them on. Yeah. It was really finicky, it took solder, ages. Solder, solder, stick, and we had loads of attempts. Yeah, um, so anyways, we finally managed solder to them, put, them on. Yeah. Um, put it into the 3D printer, turned it on, and it didn't work. Um, so we took it, took it out and just plugged it in normally, and no lights appeared. Nothing. So, so we thought it was dead. We thought we'd killed it. By soldering loads. Yeah, we thought we like <laughs> overheated it or something along those lines. A few more couple of days of sadness and... A week or so. A week or so. And you still... There was no Raspberry Pi Zero 2s in stock. So, sad times. But it wasn't dead. <laughs> no. Check this out. So check this out. So we just got our Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. Plug it in. Plug it in. And it appears to be dead. No lights or anything. Oh, There's nothing there. But if we unplug it and switch the SD cards out. Sorry, I don't know if you can see this. Doing a bad. And then plug it in. It's alive. Exhibit A. The crack in the SD card. So we got a new SD card, burned um, Octopi on it and put it into the uh, 3D printer and it's been working like a dream ever since. Yay! So if you do have the same, a dead Pi, hopefully it's a broken SD card or a corrupt, corrupt SD, card. SD card or something you can fix. Anyway, best of luck, um, and we really hope that you can save your Raspberry Pi if it's broken. Um, if you did find this uh, video helpful or you just like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.